Okay, you guys. <sighs> We're back at it again. Let me see. Um, I know you're here. Oh, this is this is a recap. I'm not reading this shit. Let's see. Oh, people, people, people. Why is that check Liam was thinking dusty ass woke up? He's in a little coma or whatever. But it's a long ass recap, baby. I woke up in a start. I was asleep next. Well, Liam was asleep next to me. It's been a week since he woke up. He got out the hospital yesterday. I stayed with him all the time. I was so happy he was alive. I thank God every day. But each time I close my eyes, I replay this nightmare again and again. I can't get sleep. So I rest my head on his chest and I listen to his heartbeat. I could, I could do this for hours. It soothes me. <laughs> I woke up a few hours later. Liam wasn't there. This room sends shivers all down my spine when I'm here. What are you doing? The doctor said you need to rest. I'm fine. I'm fine, Blake. Who did this to you? Who wanted to kill you? I just found you again. I don't want to lose you. You never lose me. I did something bad, Blake. Something really bad. I know that you're a drug dealer. Joanne told me the truth. I know. Is this is it about that? Do you owe someone some money? Or do you owe money to someone? Um, it's worse than that. The man who shot me was the was one of my clients' father. His son overdosed. And then he had shit to do with you, girl. He found out I was the his dealer. Um, say something please. I don't know what to say. I swear, Blake, if I could I would leave this hell, but I can't. For now, I'll find a way to stop everything sooner or later. I know what he's doing is bad. He killed someone. No, well, yeah, he did kill someone, but not, not the person that we're talking about, bitch. This guy was someone's son, someone's friend. Bitch, he didn't kill him. He overdosed himself. He didn't fucking. He bought the drug, but he got it from him or somebody else, bitch. Probably someone's love, but I love him. I know he's not a bad person. I know that deep down he didn't want to kill this guy. Please say something. I love you, Liam, no matter what. You keep throwing out this love word, baby. Liam ain't, I ain't told you shit. I stared at him. I wanted to kiss him. Even if we admitted our feelings for each other, nothing happened between us. I stayed at his side. We talked. He slept a lot. And yesterday, he was free to go home. So I decided to stay with him, considering that his mother had to go back to work. I didn't want to leave him alone. Not now, Blake. Not like that. What? I'll take you out tomorrow night. You have to rest. I'm fine. I'll rest for almost two weeks now. Plus, you're waiting for this moment for too long. I can't make you wait any longer. I rolled my eyes to... This isn't even true. <laughs> I'm not sure about that. <laughs> He's irritating. We spent the day together laying on the bed, watching some TV, and then I made dinner. Later that night, you should sleep now. You're cute when you're worried about me. This isn't funny, Liam. I know, I'm sorry. I think you should go back to school. You missed all, you missed it a lot. What? I don't want to leave you alone here. I told you I'm fine. But what if this man comes back? What if someone tries to kill you again? You don't have to worry. Next time, I'll be the first to pull the trigger. 
Okay, girl. Look, I made a mistake. I let him talk to me. I should have never listened to him. This will never happen again, trust me. And actually, he must think I'm dead. You can't ruin your life because of me. Tomorrow, you'll go to school. I sat on the bed and I sighed. He sat down next to me. He took me in his arms. It's okay. Everything will be fine. How are you? Uh, bitch, tell the truth. I, I'm stressed out, bitch. <laughs> I didn't want to let him... I didn't want to leave him alone, but he insisted. Liam's a big boy. Don't worry about him. I guess you're right. We should go to class, though. I couldn't focus on anything. I was too tired and too worried. I hope Liam is fine. I hope he didn't do something stupid. I hope he's laying in bed. He has to rest. But I doubt that. No, I doubt it too, girl. Meanwhile, Liam back in these motherfucking streets. Well, well, look who's back. Who shot you? Is it one of Pablo's men? No, it was a client's father. What? How did he find you? I don't know, but he did. This can't happen again. You need to be more careful. Especially after what happened here. Have we lost um men? Less than them, but it's not that's not the point. They made a terrible mistake by showing up here. They were they will regret it. If you have if you had been here to help us, maybe Pablo would be dead and buried by now. Yeah, I'm sorry, I was too busy swimming in my own blood. Right, bitch. If you need a little motivation to be one hundred with me. I can still have you have a little conversation with your friend, Blake. You know I'm loyal. But if you lay a finger on her, I will kill you, Vince. As long as you will do that, do what I want, nothing will happen to her. After school. Blake, wait. We barely talked to me today. Well, you barely talked to me today. I'm sorry. I'm just tired. But thank you for everything. No need to thank me, Blake. I know I want... A, I know, but I want to... You're a true friend. I, th I have to go find Liam now. See you later. See you tomorrow. Mm. Bitch, what? What the fuck do you want? There you are. What do you want, girl? I won't make a scene here. Let's go home now. Where the hell were you? I tried to call you. I texted you. I was worried sick. And your mother is gone since weeks. And I can't find her. I don't know where she is. Shut up, bitch. Hey. I thought I told you not to disobey me. Bitch, be angry. Fuck a fucking scared. Don't touch me, bitch. Bitch. Hey. Turn up. I'm back. Where have you been? <laughs> you're my wife. You have to tell me what you're doing. I was on vacation with my friends. Bitch. Ooh. Bitch. Ooh. Bitch. Ah. Bitch. Um, you're lucky I have plan to take, have a plane to take. Otherwise, I would have finished you. Damn. I hear him yell. I hear him hit my mother. But what can I do? Nothing. I'm stuck here. Bitch, you better take Liam strapping, you know, you know. I stay here for a while until I heard the front door slam. Mother, get out. I don't need you. Bitch, help her stinking ass anyway. Stupid bitch. That's why you just get your ass beat. William, where are you? Liam was waiting for me. I completely forgot. This is supposed to be the best day of my life. Liam finally asked me out. And I can't even be happy. I 
can't let my parents ruin my life. Bitch, you the one who's staying there, girl. I'm on my way. Cause I have to change first. See when we, y'all know I love this outfit, but no, let's see what the next one is. And I hate this dress. Oh, and I hate the purple dress too, don't I? Yeah. But we wear it. It's perfect. So I walked to his house. I remember everything we did since we met. The more I walked, the more my heart was racing. I'm here. I'm coming. Hi. I could have picked you up. Where were you? I needed to change. You're beautiful. Let's go. So you don't see her goddamn face. So, uh, you know, knock the hell off. So Liam took me to a beautiful restaurant. We had dinner. We talked about everything. It felt good. It felt so good to be with him. To be with someone who cared about me. Are you sure you're okay? We can go home if you're if you feel tired. I already told you I'm fine. Aren't you happy to be here? Of course I'm happy. Then don't. Uh, then you don't have to worry about anything. So how was your day? It was okay. What's going on? Nothing. I told you I didn't want to go to school today. We already talked about that. I know you're right. I was a little sad, that's all. But I'm fine now that I'm with you. What about you? What did you do today? Nothing special. I stayed home. I don't want her to be upset. She's scared enough. Mm -hmm. Let's take a walk. This place is beautiful. I used to come here with my father. Oh. You never talked to me about him. Because I never talked about... I never talked about that to anyone. But I'm not anyone. Mm, I know. His mother already told me what happened, but I wish he could talk to me. My father was killed. Mm -hmm. He was a policeman. He did good things during all, all his life. And he was shot in the middle of the street. I was a kid. I saw everything. I saw him die in front of me. I'm sorry, Liam. There's no justice in this world. That's why I started to work for Vince. I was 15. I was mad at everyone. I started to steal, then I started to deal. And slowly I became Vince's right hand man. Do you do you kill people? Answer my question. I have, bitch. Yes. It can happen. But it's always other gang members. I don't kill innocent people. I can't believe what I'm hearing right now. I know I should run away from him. But I can't. I'm not proud of myself, Blake. Do you enjoy it? No, of course not. I do what Vince wants me to do. But I never enjoyed killing someone. Never. You have to trust me. Please don't run away from me. Give me a chance. I want to try. I want to change. You make me want to change. I love you, Liam. I can't fight my feelings. I try so hard to forget about you, but I can't. I just can't. And just like that, his lips were against mine. I waited for this moment for so long. <laughs> I knew this time it was for real. This time it wasn't a game or a mistake. I knew it. I could feel it. This was the most passionate kiss I've ever had. I loved him so much, there were no words that to describe my feelings towards him. I know I'm far from perfect, but it would mean the world to me if you want to be my girlfriend. What? 
the spice of life I live. Bitch, shut up and kiss me, bitch. Hey, I've waited too long to be your girlfriend. <laughs> Hell no, y'all. I'm excited. Can you promise me something? What is it? Never leave me, no matter what. Can we really promise that? I promise. I always stand by your side. I'll always be there for you. I never want to leave you. Me either. Can I ask you something? Go ahead. Why did you tell Dwayne to lie to me? Why did you make me believe that Stevie found me with Tyler? Because I thought it was best for you. Well, I thought this was best for you. I thought you forgot me. Mm. It hurt me so hard, but I thought I was doing the right thing for once. And I'm sorry about that. I should have never lied to you. I understand. But I'm glad Joanne told me the truth. If she didn't, I would have come to your house. I wouldn't have come to your house. Don't think about that. You came. You saved me. But starting from now on, no more secrets between us. What do you think? Um, I can't tell him. I mean, what can I say? Oh, by the way, my state, my stepfather raped me. I hope you don't mind. <laughs> I can't tell him. He would never see me in the same way. There's nothing he could do. John's too powerful. He knows lawyers and judges and high respect. No one would ever believe me. Girl, no more secrets. I wish they had an option. Like, bitch, can we tell? Shit, I don't know. Like, <laughs> who the fuck are these people? Who the fuck are they really? Dang, this shit is getting on my nerves <laughs> again. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed that bullshit.